Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're just getting back from Vitelli's house and uh, he's the one that we're working together to create the digital display for the 2011, 2012, 2013, 14 uh, Mustangs. He has the one, if you remember in the prior video, which I'm gonna link right here, he's the one that has uh, created one for his 2015. And I know I got a little bit of um, feedback from people stating that you can already retrofit a 2018 cluster in a 2015. I understand that. But the price of a 2018 cluster is pretty high compared to what these are going to be. We don't know yet how much it's going to cost because we are experimenting with different displays. And the display is the number one thing that costs the most. We want to get the highest quality display with the lowest price of course right I mean that's that's what we do but we don't want to compromise the quality and what you're gonna see the speed the functionality and everything because it is the cluster so to answer a couple of questions the first question is how do we get by pats we don't mess with pats right so what's gonna happen is you have your cluster your current cluster you have in your car right now you pull everything apart and you have the base, the core of the cluster is going to remain the same. You're going to remove your needles, you're going to remove the display piece in the front that shows the actual numbers and everything. And you're going to put the screen right on top of that. Everything is going to work in a way where everything fits perfectly. That's why we're going through some R&D right now. We'll do a step-by-step -step instruction that shows how everything plugs in, how everything goes, how you navigate through it and everything like that. So that's going to help everyone. Another question that I received is how much is it going to cost? And I would love to answer this question because I think everybody wants to know how much it's going to cost so they can just go ahead and start saving for one so they can buy it. We don't know the cost. And the reason why, just like I said before, the display is the priciest part of it, right? So the display we had in the first video, that one was about 350 to 400 euros, which is about $450, $400-$450. The display we have now, it's cost a little less, so it's about 250, 200 to 250 euros, which is about $300 or something, right? So our goal is to have everything for maybe under $800, $700, right? So that means it's affordable, it's easy for us to get all the pieces and put together that way we can ship out kits and with the instructions so everyone can do it but it's not going to be in simple plug and play it's going to take a little bit of wiring because you have to wire the buttons and everything like that which comes to my next step the buttons we're going to try to get 3d printing done so we can put the buttons on the steering wheel and um, i'm going to work that piece out Last but not least, here's a video of the updated display, a little more information about the buttons and the settings that you can go through. Unfortunately, right now, we can't go into sport mode, track mode, or anything like that. It won't change your car to go to sport track and all that. You're gonna have to do that the standard way. But it'll give you the displays so you can have that on your car and you can toggle through it. So enjoy the video. If you have any questions, Please comment below. Make sure to subscribe so you keep watching. I just dropped off my S197 cluster. Uh, we're gonna start retrofitting that for the new display. Okay guys, different display on here. And this display is, uh, seems is to be a little better as far as like quality and everything. So he was able to get um, a button here. I know it's kind of weird right now, but we're gonna set it up. And you can change the display. Sorry for the glare. I'm going to get rid of the glare. You can change the display to different options. As you can see there, you can change the center part as well. Navigation as well in the center part but it won't work with a sync system. It'll have to be through Wi-Fi or a mode through your phone where you can just give it signal like Google Maps. But uh, the center display is this one right now, the bullet. It can change to be something else as long as it's available. So to 
get the status update we're trying to work with the s197 we have this the cover here for that and we'll probably end up needing to use a 3d printer because it's a little too big and um, we'll see how that goes you smash that like button hit that subscribe hit the notification bell so when I post the next video you'll get it right in your inbox that way you don't have to waste any time and if you have any questions comment below or send us an email at autobondrivers at gmail.com until next time later let's call it in the crossfire let's call it in the crossfire let's call it in the crossfire